Are you covered with blood? Yeah. yeah. Then that's the question. Now, now watch this now. Death is coming. Amen. It'll pass you over for a season or two. Yeah. But at some point, we're going to have to participate. Amen. Amen. Yeah. What, 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 what do death mean? You can cut it off a lot. You don't know what fan. You can cut it off. <laughs> what, what, what do death mean? Separation. Separations. At some point, we're going to separate from this realm. Uh -huh. Amen. And go to the next for eternity. Ain't no coming back. Amen. In the natural. Amen. So get right before you get left. Amen. Yeah. Mark chapter 16, verse 1. Are you there? Amen. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Shalom had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. Talk about Jesus. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came into the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. Do you see that? That's where people get sunrise service from. I could save, I could save them a whole lot of anguish. Okay. Just to tell them, you know, it, you know, uh, sunrise service, he ain't there. Amen. Amen. Come on, sir. You can wake the 11 o'clock and still have the sun. Amen. 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 Ain't trying to come against nothing nobody's doing, but you know, maybe the Lord spoke to them and told them to do some right stuff. But this, this is what I think they got it from. Look at verse 3, Mark 16 and 3. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right hand excuse me, the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were uh, frightened. They weren't scared, they were amazed. Mm -hmm. I know they're frightened, that's why you got the words up. Look at verse 6, and he said unto them, be not afraid. You see Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, he is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where he is laid. They say, take a look and see if you see him. Hmm? Verse 7, but go your way and tell his disciples and you, Peter. <laughs> and Peter, that he goeth before you into Galilee, they, there shall you see him. And he said, unto, as he said unto you. Verse 8, and they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they, was, they, 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 for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for now they were afraid. Let's pray. Father, we glorify you in this place. We thank you. We honor you. Father, thank you for being our risen king. Thank you for being our Lord and our Savior. Thank you for shedding your unblemished, uncontaminated blood to buy back your people. Thank you for opening the opportunity and the door that all mankind have the same opportunity to be born again. For that we tell you, thank you. Anoint me now from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, Father. Speak in this place. And we give you glory, honor, and we give you praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray in the church said. Amen. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of Almighty God. My topic this morning is Jesus is alive and well. He's alive and well. Amen. I used to hear the old people say, God is not dead. And somebody asked them, how do you know? Say, they, they would say, I can feel him in my hands. Yeah, that's, that's right. I can feel him in my feet. Yeah. I can feel him all over me. Huh, Y'all ever heard that before? Amen. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was sharing this morning with somebody. You know, they were, I was asking them. I, I, I told them, I said, you know, God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. I said, how, how do we know that he'll never leave us? And they just looked at me first. Then I told them, I said, because he lives in us. Amen. Yeah, he's so present, we can touch him. Amen. He's ta God is tangible. Amen. Yeah, he's tangible. So, 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 so uh, Jesus is alive and well. That is my topic. It would be, we, it would be uncivilized for anybody standing on a platform this morning not to preach about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. It'd be uncivilized. This time, and what they call the world called Christmas, amen, it would be uncivilized. That's the, one of the greatest opportunities for the church. Amen. 
Amen. You know, because a lot of people come to church on those two days and they really don't realize why they're coming. Amen. Some of us, we don't really realize the full meaning mm -hmm. of why we come. We don't really understand the fullness of what Christ did at Calvary. Amen. He died in your place. Amen. It should have been us Amen. being crucified. The other two were guilty. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> But he wasn't. He was innocent. He was a man that knew no sin, but became sin for you. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He said, well, they ain't going to be able to. He said, even if they get on the cross and be crucified, the blood that they shed, they'll still go to hell. Because right. it can't pay the price. Amen. See, you got to look at the you got to look at the system that God set up with Moses. It was called the sacrificial system of Moses in the tabernacle. Okay? God always uh, knew that it was going to take blood to buy men back, to redeem men. He knew that. When Adam and Eve first sinned, Amen. God killed an animal. Yeah. Amen. Now, the Bible said that he took the coats and skins and covered them. Amen. But it wasn't about, about him covering them right. with the skins. It was about him redeeming them with the blood. Amen. See, when Adam and Eve sinned, it didn't surprise God. Yes. Because God, he said, before the foundation of the world, yes. the lamb was already slain. Yes. So that meant God had a plan in place before he said, let there be. Amen. I got to get over here now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, oh my God, Jesus is alive and well. You can check the grave of Buddha, Muhammad, Confucius. Confu you should call them confusion. You can check all them graves, and I guarantee you have evidence of a person. But I've been to the, drug, the garden tomb of Jesus. And when I got there, it was empty. That's right. Amen. And I want to tell somebody this morning, it's still empty. Well, and it's going to stay empty. Amen. Ah, God, watch this. So although it's been over 2,000 years ago since Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected, mm -hmm. you can't put him in the grave and leave him. My God. He, you got to get him out. Hallelujah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know I, I always tell my kids a lot of times, you know, I don't wear crosses with Jesus hanging on them. I don't wear a cross with Jesus hanging on. I don't. You can do what you want to do because he ain't on the cross no more. That's right. Yeah, well, what you mean? He's in me now. Amen. Mm. Uh -huh. God, boy. So, crucified, buried, and resurrection. There is still belief today that he wasn't resurrected. There's still belief. There has been all kinds of stories about what could have happened. And I believe as Christians that we ought to believe uh, we ought to uh, believe what the Bible says. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We we shouldn't go around and listen to all these stories that's been told. Well. There are some lies out there. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to share a few with you in just a few minutes. I believe we ought to study the Bible for ourselves and stop believing all the other things that we're hearing. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just amazing to me how anywhere you go. All types of music is okay, except no Christian music. My God, come on, that's right. That's real. All that ain't gospel. Christian music. Yeah. A, a, a lot of stuff they call it gospel. I shouldn't have listened to it in the club before I came over on this side. Amen. And now they have taken it and added Jesus in there, but I danced to it at one time in my life. It's a reason why all music ain't the same. That's it's a reason why. Right. If, if, if all music was the same, there wouldn't be country. Uh -huh. There wouldn't be hippity hop. Right. There wouldn't be rock. Come on. Yeah. There wouldn't be hard rock. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be uh, contemporary. Uh -huh. They might well say almost world gospel. Because yeah, okay. that contemporary stuff, it'll make you move. Amen. Uh -huh. Will it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The thing about it is the beat in it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's my song. I bet it is. Yeah. <laughs> so listen. Uh, so the enemy has a way of distorting the truth. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. You can't even believe some of the things that you that, that, that they are showing on TV uh, concerning this season. Come on. One of the reasons that, that they put it on TV is because the enemy knows that some church folk, that's the only revelation they'll ever get. Yeah, yeah. You ever watch the Ten Commandments? Most of it ain't true. Amen. I'm talking about on TV. Yeah, and, and, and then the man that they got playing Moses. What's his name? Hester. Last name Hester. What's his first name? Charles. Charles. What, what, is that the same man that... Who's the guy that, that they got the Playboy Mansion? Oh, no. You have yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought that was the same guy. Oh, no. Might as well be. <laughs> but watch this. So even when you come to the Passion of Christ, listen to this. When you come to the Passion of Christ, who is the producer? A sinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a point here for you now. Amen. Watch this. Even if Mary, the mother of Jesus, won't born again, she's a good candidate. Okay. <laughs> Mary, the mother of Jesus, is just like any other born again Christian. Right. She's a carrier of the word. Come on. I know you missed up my guy. That was good. That was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so watch what you see on TV. Watch it. I'm not finna show you why. Because there's some shows that are saying Jesus and Mary Magdalene were going together. Uh, come on, sir. There's some shows that said Mary Magdalene and Jesus had a child. Amen. And won't marry. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen none of this right here. Uh, yeah, 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 nah, nah, nah. Okay, all right. So you see, the enemy realizes that if he keeps you, uh, keeps you from opening and studying the Bible. He can get you to believe his lies and can deceive you. Amen. See, one, one of the things that you got to watch is these different versions of the Bible that you're reading. Come on, uh, sir. That's true. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a book in the group chat. Hell yeah. And it's called Defending the King James Gospel. Mm. King James Version. And it's going to show you, if you go get a copy of that, because that ain't getting your mind. <laughs> but it's going to show you why, how a lot of the versions in these Bibles are adding or taking out. Mm -hmm. That's right. A lot of stuff. And what it does is it changes the whole meaning yes. mm -hmm. of what you are reading. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If the word of God that you're reading don't convict you, it might be the wrong version. Watch this. I hear a lot of people say, I don't like the King James Version. I bet you don't. Uh, <laughs> I bet you don't because it was the first one that was that was uh, that, that was uh, interpreted or changed from the original Greek into Hebrew. Right. In 1611 by King James himself. But we don't like the King. The and thou. Just, just live right. You ain't got to worry about the things in the thou. Yes. <laughs> Words I can't understand. But they got to information and commentaries and, and strong strong concordance that you can buy and it'll give you a definition of all the words you don't understand. Amen. Right. I had an aunt I love her so dear. Her name was Aunt Rose. Mm -hmm. And Aunt Rose, man, I'm telling you, she always called call herself eat me up about the Bible. Yeah. And and she said to me one day, she said, well, when I start reading, if I don't uh, uh, see, if I see where I don't understand, I just skip it. And I just go and I said, well, I don't know. I said, well, the thing about it, that one word you skip might give you, you might miss the whole meaning of the whole passage of scripture that you're reading. Amen. And then she began to say, well, you know, when I grew up, we only went to church two Sundays. I said, well, them times has changed. Right? Because right. she liked to go back and forth with me. And then she said one day, <laughs> then she said one day, yeah, yeah, every time I go over to his church, talking about me, she said, good God, he, he'll give you one scripture. And then before you can get to that scripture, he go to another one. She said, he'll have you all over the Bible. <laughs> right? So, so, so now, this one, look. Now, me and her were sitting in the room together from the beginning. Just me and her and I think uh, another guy. I'm going to call her name, but you know who it is. But anyway, it was, it was about three of us. So Aunt Rose was one, you know, like most people, she like a crowd. So she decided the way everybody else got there before she started saying what she said. You know, they thought they always thought she was so funny. Yes. And she said, Yeah, you go to his church and he'll he have you all over the Bible. You get to this trip, he, and you know what I said to her? I said, Well, when you go to bingo, play bingo, you all over the bingo card. <laughs> yeah. 
Then she cussed me out. <laughs> See, so, so my thing is, uh, uh, make sure that don't, you don't get religious. Amen. Yeah, we, we, we didn't have church on fifth Sunday, so what'd you do, stay home? Come on. When you see, let, let, me, let, let, let me tell you this. This thing stopped bothering you when you form a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's Amen. Right, that's right. It don't bother you when people say you need to be in service. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. It don't bother you. Amen. Yeah, because you formed a relationship and then you made, you made it personal between you and him. That's Amen. Right. So your relationship, you ever heard people say he's my personal Jesus. Uh -huh. So the way I serve him, don't, don't let it bother you. Right. Yeah, you can serve him your way. Uh -huh. All right? Yeah, just make sure that it's lining up. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't tell me some of the stuff you're doing God is okay with and the Bible is against you. Come on. Yeah. He didn't die for that. That's right. <laughs> he died for you to come out of that. Yeah. yeah. And then he died for you to stay out of that. Yeah. You know, the Bible said the dog that goes back, don't be like a dog that goes back to his vomit. Yeah. yeah. And, a, and, a, and a sow that waddled in the mire. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I, you know, I, I wonder why a dog would go back to something so disgusting. Mm. Why would you go back to something so disgusting? Mm. A dog went back to his vomit because what he threw up, all of it hadn't been hadn't been uh, 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 finished or digested yet. Mm. So there was some food in there that can still be ate, right. mm. but it's still disgusting. Right. Yeah. So you're going back to them. You're going back to her. Going back to him. You know how he was the last time. Oh, you gonna go back to him? Yeah, but he said he loved me. Love don't beat you. Oh, love don't abuse you verbally. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, love don't cheat on you. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus don't cheat on us. That's right. That's right. He divorced Israel uh -huh. because they went hoard out the other gods. It's in the book. Amen. You all right? Okay. All right. So, so watch this right here. Listen to this. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I stopped by to let somebody know this morning that we serve a risen Savior. He is alive and he is well. Amen. Yeah, when everybody has tried to discredit him, I'm telling you right now, he is still sitting on the throne. Yes, Amen. he is. Amen. I talked to him this morning. Amen. He was still in the same place. Oh, God. Hmm? God Almighty. He'll come and see about you yes, when you got stuff going on. Come on, sir. Yeah, when people will walk away from you, he said, I'll never leave you. That's it. No, he says in Psalms 46, I, in verse 1, uh, I'm, I'm the God of your refuge and your fortune, a very present help in trouble. Yes. Amen. Come on now. Then he said down in verse 10 of, of Psalm 46, be still and know that I am God. Yes. See, a lot of times we start running when we got stuff going on to the wrong people. But if you just run to God, come on. Come on. He said in uh, Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge me and I will, I shall direct your path. I, I'll show you which way to go when you're in the valley of decision. I can show you. I'll speak to you late in the midnight hour when you spend time with me. Amen. Come on. You're going to run into all these people and they give you their, their opinion. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. He can be trusted. Yes, he can. When you give your whole heart to him. Thank you, Jesus. He won't walk away from you. Yeah. He won't leave you destitute. Mm -mm. He won't leave you hungry. That's right. He won't leave you thirsty. That's it. He'll clothe you. He'll be a mother to the motherless. He'll be a father to the fatherless. Amen. Come on. I'm telling you now. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Don't get me worked up here, please. Listen to this right here. Go, 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 uh, go to uh, uh, Luke 24 for me. We already, yeah, go to Luke 24 for me. First of all, go to Luke 23 for me. Let's go to 23 first. Are we all right? Anybody hot yet? Okay, how about go ahead and put your AC on? <laughs> put it on 71. Let it blow for a little while, then you can sit down. <laughs> Luke 23 and verse 50.
23 and 50. Read the Bible. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, uh -huh. a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. Okay. The same had not consented to the counsel and dead of them, deed of them. Mm -hmm. He was of Arimathea. Arimathea. Go ahead. A city of the Jews mm -hmm. who was who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. All right. Oh, wait a minute. What verb you in? All right, go ahead and read 52. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Okay, keep reading. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher. Sepulcher, go ahead. Sepulcher that was hewn in, the, in stone. Wherein never man before was laid. Look at that. Keep reading. And that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on. And the woman also which came with him from Galilee followed after. And behold, the sepulchre and how his body was laid. One more. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. All right, now we already understand. Give me Luke 24 right quick. 24 verses 1, 2, and 3. Now upon the first day of the week, mm -hmm. very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, mm -hmm. and certain others with them. Mm -hmm. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. Mm -hmm. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Look at that right there. So, so, so this is the same passage what we just read in Mark. These women, they were on their way to the grave or the tomb of Jesus. They were going to, I, I'm, I'm going to get ahead of myself. Let, let me read out my notes. First of all, in Luke 23 and 50, the tomb that Jesus was laid in, it was, it, it, this tomb belonged to a rich man. This was the guy that he just mentioned, Joseph of Amalthea. He's the same man uh, uh, well, well, he, he's the same man that, that goes to ask for Jesus' body. Amen. Amen. He takes it down and he puts Jesus' body in the tomb that was bought for him. Amen. So the tomb was borrowed. Amen. It ran over your head right there all by itself. It was borrowed because he won't go need it but for three days. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, yeah. When you borrow something, that means you're going to give it back. Amen. Hmm? Come on, a lot of us barring people in relationships. Well, come on, sir. My God. <laughs> a lot of people are uh, messing up people's life because we don't want to commit. It's the same way with Christ. You got to commit totally yeah. to him. He can't be fooled at no time. You can't, he can't be manipulated. I hear people say, don't you try to manipulate God? He can't eat your wives. You'll fool yourself before you fool him. Amen. So Christ died on the eve of Sabbath, which was Friday. Uh -huh. The Sabbath was the Sabbath day they're supposed to keep it holy. Uh -huh. People, some people are still stuck with the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Being on Saturday. That's how that's why you got a denomination called the seven-day Adventist. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. They worship on Saturday. Amen. It don't make no difference what day you worship. That's right. Any day could be the Sabbath. All right, as long as you set it apart. And his body was hastily in a hurry, placed in the tomb before, because Jesus, they had to keep the Sabbath because of the, the time that he lived in. Amen. So the body had to be off, the, off of the cross and in the tomb before the evening was gone. Amen. Wow. Wow. So he was hung up, and he hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. Amen. Twelve to three. Amen. Amen. They got him down. He had to be off the cross and in the grave before 6. Amen. 6 p.m. was the evening. It was considered the next day. That's right. Amen. Give me y'all. Y'all been taking some notes here. Yeah. Somebody's going to start. Some center start asking you some of the things about this that you don't know, but you so saved. Amen. Anyway. So, uh, so, 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 so he placed... Jesus in the tomb, in his own tomb, Joseph of Amalthea did, there was not enough time to prepare his body. And this is why these women were on their way back to the tomb. They were on their way back to the tomb to finish 
preparing his body. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible said it was early in the morning. They had to wait for the breaking of day so they could see. They couldn't do it on Saturday because, but they put him in the grave Friday, Friday, Friday before six. He was there <laughs> Friday. See, a lot of people said, we counted. Uh, well, he was only there too late. No, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See, because a lot of the, uh, theologians, and the, well, a lot of scientists and all, they, they're trying to discredit when Jesus said, uh, in three days, I'm going to tear the temple down, but in three days, build it back up again. Right. Everybody trying to fight against his resurrection. Everybody, everybody, man, trying to find his resurrection. Give, give me 1 Peter chapter 3. Uh, what I got in, in, in verse 19. And I want you to stay there just for a minute. Watch this. I'm going to give you some information here. Uh, so, this was why the women had brought the spices to finish the process of anointing the body of Jesus. But it was an unnecessary anointing. Why, why was it unnecessary? I asked the question, why, why would it be unnecessary to anoint his body? Because he won't dare. So when they got, so, so the Bible said they were was, was, was talking among themselves, we're going to anoint his body, but who is going to roll away the stone? The stone? Uh -huh. they, 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 they focus was wrong. Because they was focusing on the thing that was trying to block them from getting to Jesus. Right. But when they got there, the stone was already rolled away. Amen. Because God had a different message that he wanted to show them. Amen. They were walking, and all of them were walking in unbelief, even the disciples. Amen. Yeah. So it says here, uh, 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 oh God, it's that the custom was that a body of a believer was to be rubbed down with spices. And they were about to, and it's supposed to be about half the weight of the body. Okay? The spices were myrrh and aloes, and then the body was wrapping the body with linen strips. This would seal the body and keep air out. This process was to preserve the body. Now we embalm bodies to preserve them. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is just the process. That's what this what the, everything that's wrote in the Bible is significant when it comes to this. Amen. And that's why I'm explaining it to you. Amen. Okay, they, they were going to do what they was they were going to do the process. But when they got there, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you ever made plans mm -hmm. yep. to do something? Yeah. The, the Bible said many are the plans of a man. Uh -huh. But then God can unplan what you plan. That's yeah. it right there. Yeah, when you get, he told Abraham, he didn't tell Abraham where the mountain was to go and sacrifice Isaac. He said, you just start moving and I'll show you the mountain when you get close to it. Yeah, my God. Now that was faith. Yeah. He didn't say that to Sarah. He just him and his servants, they got the boy, amen, and they sell the donkey and they win. Yeah. I think they went to Jerusalem. You'll get that next week. <laughs> so they didn't have any idea what they were about to encounter when they arrived at the tomb. Amen. I even believe that they forgot what Jesus had told them. Now, these are women that followed him. If you study it, these are women that followed him. He told not just the disciples, but he told everybody around them, even the, the, uh, the, 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 the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Come on, I, I'm talking about the chief priests and the elders. He told them that uh, who he think he is. Mm. He's going to tear down a building and build it back in. They thought he was talking about a natural building. Right. <laughs> but this old building keep on leaning. My and my soul. Leaking or leaning? What, which one is it? Leaking? Leaking. Leaking, leaning, or whatever it's doing, my soul got to go. <laughs> Can't stand this old body, man. <laughs> so listen to this. So, so whatever they started toward, whenever they started toward the tomb, it was dark. Yeah. Uh, that's, that, that's how they got at the, the sun, we're talking about the sunrise service. This is why people have sunrise services. But that being that Jesus rose on the first day of the week, Sunday, this is why now that Christians worship on Sunday. God is the only one that has the right to change a day. You got men trying to change time and seasons. 
But God is the only one that, that, that has the right to do it. Why? Because he has been in the whole world. Yeah, he's been in the whole world. I, 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 don't, I don't suggest that you, that you have a baby out of wedlock. I don't suggest that. But in case you do, God was in it. Amen. Amen. I miss you. Yeah, Amen. miss that one too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Cause some of you sitting here was conceived out of wedlock, but you're here with purpose. Amen. That's the point. Right. Amen. Right. Right. I mean, come on. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, somebody might have came out of rape. Somebody might have came out of a one night stand. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody your parent might have tried to abort you, and you still live. Amen. And you trying to tell me God ain't awesome? No. Amen. All the words in the dictionary can't describe Him. He's indescribable. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, he can do what he's sovereign. The word sovereignty means God can do whatever he want to do, when he want to do it, and he ain't got to explain to you why. Amen. Amen. Yeah, but he told me he's going to do it. He didn't tell you when, did he? Right. right. Yeah, he didn't tell you how, did he? No. Right. Huh? Yeah, yeah, come on. You, you don't know what God might, you don't know what way God might bring your next miracle. Amen. You just should be expecting it. Right. You, you expecting God to use the church? He might use the world. Mm. Come on. Uh, he said, I'll take the foolish things of the world to confound to the wise. That's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Let me get to my next point. Let me get out. I'm, I'm finna get out your way. There were times when Jesus spoke to death. He rebuked it. John chapter 11. He rebuked it at the, at the tomb of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. He told death, look, he waited till Lazarus died before he got there. Amen. Message was sent by the messengers to, to Jesus that Lazarus was sick. Uh -huh. After they found out he was dead, Jesus still waited. Uh -huh. yeah, you, can't, you can't twist his arm. Yeah, you can't twist his arm. I don't care if the thing that God told you he's going to do has died, dried up. They have buried it. Mm. If he show up, Jesus. Right there. Amen. Come on. If he show up, he know. See, the thing that gets me about this is, who glory to God. Uh, Mary and Martha said the same thing. If you had have been here, my, my brother wouldn't have died. Mm. Jesus looked at him and said, well, he shall live again. Yeah, we know in the resurrection. <laughs> he said, well, honey, let me tell you, <laughs> you talking to the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he told him. I am that I am. Huh? That right there, that is enough right there for me. I am. I am whatever you need me to be when you need me to be. Jesus. Yeah, I can be a lawyer in a courtroom. Come on, I can be a doctor in a sick room. Yeah, whatever you need me to be. Come on, I'm telling you. We sitting around worried about cause you know he ain't showed up yet. Well, have you done your part? Not that is it. Have you done your part? Amen. So the Bible says that in John 11, 35, Jesus wept. Uh -huh. He didn't weep because he was weeping over Lazarus. Amen. He was weeping because they didn't believe that Lazarus could live again. Amen. Oh, God. That's good. And the Bible said that Jesus cried out. He said, show me where you laid it. Uh -huh. And then there they, they, again, us church people, well, you know, uh, you know, it's stinking now. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't ask you that. I just asked you to take me where you laid it. They got there and they told him, he said, look, now that thing that's blocking him from me getting to it, he said, now I can go through that. He said, but I want to get your help. See if I can help you exercise your faith and you move the stone. And when they move the stone, when they done, after you've done your part, then God can speak to whatever it is. He called him by name because if it is if said, come forth, every grave around him would open up. Called him by name. Lazarus, come forth. Yeah. He calling you this morning. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know your name, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he calling you this morning to come forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then watch this. See, he already knows what kind of condition you in when he called you. He already knows some things still holding you. Amen. Yeah, yeah, he already know. He know. He had glory to God. <laughs> he already know there's gonna be some stuff that needs to loose you 
what he called you. He knew that. And then when he gets you out, they, he hopped out. Bound with grave clothes. And Jesus said, okay, now that you're out, now that stuff that's holding you, that stuff that you're addicted to, loose him and let him go. See, God waiting for you to do this. He waiting for you to exercise your faith and say, God, it's me, not my mother, sister, brother, or father. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Come on, he, he want to hear your voice. He want to hear your voice. He want to hear you say, God, it's me. It ain't nobody else. I got myself in this. My God. I need you to get me out. Yes, Lord. He told him great clothes to loose him and let him go, and he was free. Come on, he, he rebuked death. The enemy's last weapon is death. Mm, my God. Oh, when he spoke to death, it had to obey. Yeah, he said, he said in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, O death, where is thy sting? God. O grave, where is thy victory? See, the grave could they just suck it. The grave couldn't hold him. They couldn't hold him. Amen. Amen. So now, oh, God Almighty. Now, 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 now give me 1 Peter 3. You, you should already be there. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I'm going to read. I'm going to read over here first before you read that. I'm going to read Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. I'm going to read verse. I'm going to read verse. Uh, let's see what I'm going to read verse 8. Ephesians 4, 8. You stay right where you at now. Okay. Uh, wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it that but he first also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same above that ascended far above the heavens, all heavens, that he might fulfill all things. Do you see that? Amen. So before he ascended back, after he finished what he did on earth, he got, before he went to the Father, right? When he was crucified, they put him in a grave. On that Saturday, something happened. Something happened. Read 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 19. By which also he went and preached unto the spirit. Okay, right there. That's, this is one of the things that he done <coughs> on that Saturday while he was he was in that grave. His spirit leads. Watch this now. He 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 he. It was a separation. Amen. See, when we die, there's a separation of soul and spirit. The body go in the ground. Spirit and soul that will never die. He goes down. And he preached to the spirits. He get the keys of death and hell from the enemy. You heard it some. We don't have to go to the enemy's camp and take nothing back. It's already been done. Read the Bible. Which sometimes were disobedient. Mm -hmm. Disobedient spirits. Now, but now they can't. They are gonna hear the real gospel and still got to stay down there. Go ahead. When once the long suffering of the God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. So them folks that perished, mm. wow. mm. Jesus Christ, he, I'm telling you, he done some work on Saturday. Mm -hmm. He finished what he was sent to do. Right. Then he passed the baton. To the disciples. Amen. Amen. And the baton has been passed from every generation up to us. Amen. What you going to do with it? Oh my God. That's good. What you going to do with that baton in your hand? Mm -hmm. What you going to do with that baton? It's your turn now. Mm -hmm. Are you going to mildew? Do? Oh, barbecue. <laughs> <Or> barbecue. <laughs> you going to die? Or multiply? What you going to do? It's your, it's your time now. You say you're waiting on your hour. Let, let, let me share this. Oh, God Almighty. In John chapter 2, the Bible said there was a wedding feast. 
And Jesus was invited to the wedding. They're there doing the bump. They, 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 they come on down the dance floor doing the electric slide. You know, people, as long as they got what they need, they all right. But they ran out of wine. <laughs> they ran out of revelation. Good God, that'll preach right there by itself. And so the, the Bible said there that, that Jesus' mother, they came to Jesus' mother and said they had ran out of wine. Ran out of wine. Jesus goes, Jesus' mother goes to, goes to, 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 to uh, Jesus and said, they have ran out of wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what have I to do with thee? It is not my hour. And she in return says to the disciples, whatever he says do, do it. That's it. That's the word. So what's your point? My point is, is that there's spiritual authority that God will put in your life that's able to activate you when you don't think it's your time. Yes. She activated him right then. Mm -hmm. And the first miracle that he done was the wedding at, at Cana. He turned water into wine. Now, mind you now, this was new wine. So I didn't get you drunk. Oh, uh, God. And the man that was hosting the party says, my God. He said, this wine right here, he said, this is better than we had before. But anything that, <laughs> anything the master touches, he going to put perfection on it. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Yeah, yeah, because a lot of people, see, they, a lot of people still fighting over the fact that Jesus drank wine. I ain't fighting over it. Because I know Jesus, he wouldn't have put it in the scripture that the wine is a, the wine is a mockery. Come on, he wouldn't have put it in there if it was okay for me to drink it. Amen. He ain't going to give me something that's, that, that's forbidden. Uh -huh. Come on. New wine ain't nothing but grape juice. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But if you leave grape juice long enough, it'll nah, it'll ferment. So yeah, so there were, there were two different types of wine back in those days. You go ahead, go ahead and study. Please do that, because I have. Amen. I have already. Amen. Yeah. Because they had they had wine that made you merry too now. Uh -huh. Okay, that was the fermented wine. It swole up in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's where we are. Jesus, this is what he done. He goes and finishes all his work. Okay, and then and then after he finished early Sunday morning, it had to be there three days to fulfill the scriptures. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that was taking place during those times. You got to just read it. Watch this. So, oh, uh, oh, God Almighty! Although they weren't expecting to see a miracle when they arrived at the tomb, they were worried about who would remove the stone. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I, we, we 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 focus on the wrong stuff. That's you know, God tell you he's going to do something. Give me Isaiah 55 and verse uh, verse 8, start at verse 8. Sometimes God shared with us that he get ready to do something. And we start worrying about, you know, what he got to move out the way to do what he needs to do. Sometimes he simply just need to move you out the way. Amen. 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 Come on. Because a lot of times, you know, we all, we all words enemy now. Yeah, God, God give you a prophetic, deep prophetic word. And you'll try to go figure it out. But you can't just receive it. Amen. Yeah. And then, and then watch this. And then walk in faith. That's right. Yeah. That's and then when he give you a deep prophetic rebuke, walk in that. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, we like prophetic word, but we don't like prophetic rebuke. That's right. Amen. That's right. God, God chastises those he loves according to Hebrews chapter 12. He said, if I don't chastise, you won't be a son, but you'll be a bastard. Mm. Isn't what the scripture says? That's what the word say now. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. Watch God. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Uh-huh. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Look at that. So, so God said, I don't even think like you. My God. You trying to figure out how I don't, my ways is way in the heavens. Mm -hmm. You got a little earthly thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay this light bill. Mm -hmm. He is light. <laughs> okay, read. Verse, verse, verse 9. For as the heavens are uh -huh. higher than the earth, yes. so are my ways higher than your ways, God and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
Read verse 10. Finish the you now. For as the rain cometh down mm -hmm. and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, mm -hmm. but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Read verse 11. So shall my word God, be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Uh -huh. It shall not return unto me void, but, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. If God send you a word, and it's God, it ain't going to come back to him void. It, it, it's, gonna, it's not going to be empty. It's going to be accomplished. That's right. It's going to finish to where God sent his word. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Come on. We are a word out of the mouth of God. Amen. God sent us forth into the earth. And we should not come back to him void. Mm -hmm. But we should accomplish, finish what he sent us to the earth to do. Don't let nobody fool you and believe that you came from the devil to the earth to go back to the devil. <laughs> Come on. And the enemy can't give life. That's right. God is the only one that gives life. Amen. 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 Don't, let nobody, don't let nobody tell you you were a mistake. My God. Come on. Yeah. That, that, that'll deliver somebody right there. Right. Well, you know, all my life, you know, uh, I ain't been nothing. Come on. The thing about it is, everything in God is precious. Come on. Every seed is precious. That's right. In His sight. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the whole truth of the matter is that no one believed Him when He told them that He would rise after three days. Mm -hmm. One particular time, He began to speak about His suffering, and Peter tried to contradict Him, and He was rebuked. He told, he told Peter, he spoke right to his spirit. Satan, the spirit that we're using now, get thee behind me, Satan. He said, you seven the things of men. You're trying to get me to abort my assignment. Come on now. Woo. Yeah, that was in Matthew chapter 16, verse 21 through 22. You can read it. The angel that was in the tomb had to ask, why are you looking, why are you looking for the living among the dead? Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, well, why are you doing that? Jesus of Nazareth, oh, that, oh, that's who you're looking for. He ain't here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> he ain't here. Mm -hmm. He said that he is risen. Come on. You just missed him. Ooh. He just left. My God. You heard it, but he got them out of here. Right. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you just missed him. You don't get to somebody's house and they say they just left. Yeah. God to my uh, watch this right here now watch this right here look, look, look at this right here man. this is in Matthew 28 verses 12 through 15 uh, uh, there were even soldiers that were guarding the tomb now they were afraid that, this, that, it, that it would get out that, 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 that the disciples stole his body and there was no resurrection so they, they, so they put, they put soldiers there to guard the tomb. The soldiers fell asleep mm -hmm. on guard duty. Uh -huh. And when they woke up, the body was gone. Okay? The body, I'm telling you, Jesus' body was gone. He didn't, he had oh blood. Watch this. So the guards of, uh, they were guarding the tomb. Apparently they had fled after waking up and finding the stone rolled away from the tomb. Now, if they had been, now, they fled because if they had been caught sleep on guard duty, they, they were going to be executed. Mm -hmm. So they ran. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. Let me keep reading for you. They were eventually paid to lie and say that the body was stolen while they were asleep. Mm -hmm. But his body wasn't stolen. As a matter of fact, can I just be honest with you? Mm -hmm. They didn't crucify him. He laid down his my, life. My God. Yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah. He, the Bible said he gave up the ghost. Uh-huh. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah, good. yeah. And it was prophesied that none of the bones in his body would be broken. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was right at the end of the thieves' life that were hanging on the cross, when they get to them, if they were still alive, they'd break the bones because they were holding themselves up. And what would happen was they'd rest and die. Mm -hmm. But when they got to Jesus, he was already dead. 
It was just to fulfill prophecy. I know that. Man, let me tell you something. It's too many prophecies that's been fulfilled in this book for you to tell me this, this is not authentic. Amen. That's right. Everybody that tried to come against it and prove him wrong, they most of them gave their life to the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. You can study him if you want to. I guarantee you, you'll be having it. the next service. I have you. You be in the service with both hands. Up. Thank you, Lord. Amen. My Savior lives. <laughs> now I can face tomorrow. Yes. Good God, boy. Mm. Okay. All right. So the angel even challenged them to observe the place where Jesus was left. He said, come in and look. Come in and look. There, there, there was one passage of scripture where there was an angel on each end. Yeah. You know what that's a picture of, right? The Ark of the Covenant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That one over your head, John. That's you, good right that, that, that ain't for the corner. Right? <laughs> 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 mm. All right. Glory to God. Something done died on me. Jesus. Lose your hope. <laughs> so listen to this. So, uh. <coughs> I'm just like Jesus. You can't stop me. <laughs> listen to this, Satan. I mean, uh, yeah, 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 Satan. Listen to this. <laughs> Lose her. Amen. Yeah. So it was significant. Now, now, now a lot of people, this is my last point. I'm, I'm, I'm quitting. A lot of people take these women taking the message back from the grave to where the disciples was. As women preaching. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, sir. Yeah. That's good. Ain't nothing wrong with women preaching. God called women to preach the gospel. Amen. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But 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 we it's it's too many things now that's dominant with women. Yeah. I know I, I, I oh somebody ooh, you gotta see that picture somebody put up like what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, God called all of us. To evangelize or spread the gospel, if you will. Amen. But we got to be careful where God called us to. Amen. Right. I ain't going to go into it this morning because you know, I ain't want to spoil your Easter. I know you're going to chase some Easter bunny eggs tomorrow. Probably out of the church. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, uh, I got this rope right here. Watch this. Two seasons that the enemy brings the most distractions. Our Passover and Christmas. Yeah. You know why? Because they have commercialized it. Amen. They have taken Jesus. You don't hear a whole lot about Jesus when they talk about the Easter bunny and the eggs. Mm -hmm. Do you? Nope. No, right? That's right. Now, now, when it comes to Christmas, they, you, don't, you don't hear a whole lot about him, him being born. You know, they say he won't born then, but that's, that's the day we celebrate. Right. And for the most for, the, for most people. Uh -huh. Okay, I believe that he was born the same the same season he was crucified. Amen, that's the scripture. Yeah, because lambs weren't born <laughs> in the winter. In the, there you go, in the cold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. That's yeah. See, see so, so a whole lot of this stuff that a lot of people say, if you really want to get deep about it, come on. If you go to the shepherd, you study the life of a lamb in the birth, he's going to be born in the spring. That's right. Amen. Amen. You're going to be born in the spring. So everything that God does is so significant. Yeah. Yeah. He don't do things just to be. You didn't come here just to take up air. That's right. My God, come on. He put a gift and a call in you. Yeah. And he wants you to, he wants you to, to herald the gospel. Mm. That's good. Yeah, but they ain't called to preach. They, they, Harold ain't preaching. They just proclaim it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just do a little outreach. Do something. Make yourself busy. So, 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 watch this. So, so Jesus, the mother of Mary, uh, and those other women, they carried back a message to the disciples. The disciples were grieving. I'm finna help somebody right there. Yeah, they were grieving because anytime you you lose a loved one, you grieve. Amen. Okay. It had been. Watch this now. Uh, it had been three days now. And they hadn't heard nothing. Mm -hmm. So they were in Galilee hiding. Now Jesus had already told them, I'm going to meet you in Galilee. They were in the right place. Mm -hmm. But they didn't expect nothing to happen. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Yeah, you in the right place. Jesus. But what are you expecting God to do? Come on now. 
What are you expecting? Are you expecting him to do it? The only way you can get a miracle is expect one. That's yeah. right. Come on, sir. Yeah, God don't give a miracle to people that's not in expectation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, are you expecting to be oh, delivered? Yeah. 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 You can be delivered because he is the deliverer. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, one guy called me last week and he was talking about all the names. You know what I called him? I said, I don't care what you call him. I said, he's still God. <laughs> don't make no difference. Don't make no difference. What label you put on him, he's still God Almighty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I said, we ain't going to argue that. But you know, I said, man, look, let's, let's not even go back and forth. Let's just understand that he was buried, he was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead. Amen. You can't separate him. He was 100% man and 100% God. Yes, he was always, the deity of Christ was always with him. Yes. He just laid down his reputation. Yeah. He made himself that way. Yeah. He came in the form of a servant. Yeah. But he was still God. Yes. He was still God. He didn't have a sin nature like me and you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. he didn't desire to sin. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But he was tempted in all points like we were and yeah. sinned not. Amen. Okay. Oh, y'all, 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 boy, y'all better take me somewhere. So, so when they got there to the, when they got there to where the, where the disciples were, they were hiding. But they, they shared the message. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now the Bible said that Jesus, when he came to where they were at, mm -hmm. the door was shut. That's right. <laughs> but you know that he is the door. The door. Oh, yeah. It's in John chapter 10. It's, it's 10 I am's there. I am the door. I am the way. I am. It's 10 I am's in that book. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that he came through the wall. And appeared before them. Now, one of them, it was 11 of them there because Judas already took care of himself. Yeah, he hung himself. I'm telling you, he hung himself. So the 11 was sitting there at meat, and the Bible said that, no, 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 I tell you, 10 of them were sitting there because John wasn't there. Amen. The second time, they got, when, 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 when Jesus left them, uh, John came back and they said, Joe told John, we saw him. And what did John say? I won't believe until I see, see him. And the next time he appeared before them, the first one, because see, God hear everything you said. Yes, and the next time he appeared before them, he told John, come here mm -hmm. and touch the nail prints in my hand mm -hmm. and touch the place where they pierced me. Ooh. And the Bible said that John fell on his face and said, my Lord, my Savior. Oh, see, when you have an encounter with him, he'll change how you think about him. Amen. Yes, sir. He'll, he'll cause you, his presence will cause you to bow down because you have to reference him. Yes. He's too holy. Woo. He's too holy. Yes, he is. He'll make you bow down. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. you yeah, he bowed down and he, he bowed down. Abraham, God hadn't spoke to Abraham after he, God told Abraham he was going to have a son, which was supposed to be Isaac. Mm -hmm. He took matters into his own hands and Ishmael was born. Amen. God didn't speak to Abraham for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a long time for you not to hear somebody that you're serving. Okay. And then the Bible said the next time he spoke to Abraham, Abraham bowed himself to the earth. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me God spoke to you and your life is still jacked up. My Come on, God. Come Can't on. tell me that. When you see God, every time I see you, praise the Lord. <laughs> it'll change, I'm telling you, it'll change something. It'll, I'm telling you, it'll humble you, man. Amen. Yeah, it'll humble you. You'll treat his servant. You'll treat his servants with the utmost respect. Mm -hmm. You won't look at your pastor as just a man. Uh -huh. oh, okay, all right. That's it. Okay. So listen. So so they they they, they, they uh, married the mother of Jesus. You know she she carried the word in her for nine months. Mm -hmm. Now God got us carrying the word, and we speak the word. Yeah. God wants to use us individually. To carry a message. Amen. Amen. To carry a message. Mm -hmm. This message of the resurrection is the climax mm -hmm. of each of the four gospel accounts. My it's God. the climax. It, that's what it comes to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The literal body resurrection of Christ confirms his claim to deity. Mm -hmm. To show with you he's not a liar. That's right. If he says something. It shall yes. come to pass. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says before 
my word fail. Mm. Heaven and earth will pass away. That's it. Is heaven and earth still here? Yeah. That, that, that means because every word that he spoke Amen. is still coming to pass. Amen. Yeah. He said, he said a joke or a tittle. That's every a comma. Every semicolon. Anything that he's wrote. He'll shut it down. Yeah. He'll shut it down. His word won't fail. That's right. Yeah. He said the grass faded. The, the flowers faded. The grass withered. Mm -hmm. But the word of God will stand forever. That's it. Yeah. You, you, you don't need one word from God. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is just say rise. My God. You'll get up and walk on water, buildings, and anything else in your way. <laughs> Tell you, man, I'm, let, let me tell you something. Uh, you got to allow him to change your life. Amen. You got to give him permission. Amen. He's just waiting to do something mm -hmm. miraculous yes. in your life. Yeah, you think the resurrection, you know what the biggest miracle in your life is? Salvation. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest miracle. 